<laughs> All right, well, soon we are back in the studio again. Yes, we are. That's like two nights in a row for us. Mm -hmm. We are just not coming out of the park. That's two nights next week as well. Yep. We're, we're, we're busy folks. So far. Right? So, so far. far. Well, the rest of my week next week is booked, so sorry about that. Anyway, but we, <laughs> we are back in the studio. We're very happy to have Leslie Hope back with us. Thanks for having me. Which is so great, because we had such a good time last time, and, and she was, you were more than willing to come back. Not only was I more than willing, but I answered you on Twitter, mm -hmm. because you guys taught me how to tweet. <laughs> and you just like, was kind of like a full like circle it. thing. Right? That's right. Perfect. Well, I'll be excited to see you. You know, all that. Yeah. Hashtag. But I still don't know if you got the hashtag. But yes. Hashtag straight. GDT. Yeah, I know how to do that. I will do that one. <laughs> that was just an automatic part of your signature on Twitter. Yeah. It's on auto spell now. Right? Just to hit that hashtag and it says GDT. Right there, yeah. Add to dictionary. So, how have you been? Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty busy. good. Yes, yeah. busy. Very um, busy. Since last we met, I did the strain, mm -hmm. I finished up that, and uh, I went on to do Crimson Peak with Guillermo del Toro. So you know, I said that all smooth, like Very it's a big smooth. deal, you know? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know. That guy. That guy. Um, and I just came back actually from Israel and uh, Istanbul where I was shooting Tyrant, which is wow. a new show for FX as well. That's airing as, you know, it, it was catching up, so it's... Uh, I think they probably had episode 107 or something. Nice. Like yeah. Um, and we were there in the thick of things. Um, <laughs> and now I'm here. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, just seeing you know, some things going on over there that aren't a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now I'm back here in Toronto and I'm very happily um, working on this uh, theater piece with Pro Arte Dance, the company I was telling you about that uh, Roberto Campanella runs. And it's going up at the end of October at Salt Pepper Space. Oh, sweet. So we're, I'll have to pull it up for you guys. It's, uh, I think it's 23, 24, 25 of October. It's part of the Global Festival. Very um, cool. Yeah, so it is pretty cool. Wow. Mm. I thought we were busy. You yeah. are busy. Wow. Yeah, but you're not the only ones in the world who are busy. Right? Yes, you're very <laughs> busy. <Yeah. laughs> that would be very busy. And, and I can finally talk about it now because, of course, it's been revealed on the screen that, yeah, you're not exactly human anymore. Yes, you can talk about yeah, it. Because right? yeah. uh, when we got to visit the set, well, I got to visit the set. You didn't get a chance to go with Sassy. But uh, we got to go to the creature shop. And there were all these drawers that had, like, uh, you know. Heads in a drawer. As the, as the hopes, you know, <laughs> yeah. facial appliances. And I'm like, oh. And then Stephen McCaddy's ears or something. Yeah, yeah. Like and it's just, it was just so awesome. Like, that's just. And that's a little creepy. Well, There's a whole drawer awesome. of stuff for. Yeah. <laughs> it was extraordinary, actually. And it was sort of, I think for me, like just a, the exact right amount of time to do it because it's my stuff was four and a half hours to get into, and an hour and a half to get out. Um, so I and I loved every minute of it because oh, it was so right. Right. super cool. But to do that, you know, day after day, mm. week after week, I might not be as excited as I was <laughs> for the amount, of, the short, concentrated amount of time I got to do it. So, yeah. It was really neat. It was like. Those guys are so, oh, they're so talented, but it's like you sort of are stepping into a painting except you're the painting because mm -hmm. of the yeah. stuff they're doing with the, the veins and the skin coloration and making That's sure it's... I like watching seems... Face Off because every episode is it's like Pretty a new cool, facial right? appliance. Yeah, <laughs> and then you sit in it and you just sort of, I mean, just watch these guys do their work and yeah. they're... Um, Really mellow and zen, and <laughs> lovely. Like makeup, you, regular makeup trailers can get a little yippy skippy. Mm -hmm. right? hey, coffee, hey, hey. <laughs> so, but this is different. Like they have their own little sort of man cave that you go into. Not all men. There was women there too, but like a cave, <laughs> and it's really quiet. And well, you also have to be there for four hours or yeah. Bit, so yeah. people will tie tie in the, that hour in the morning. <laughs> but um, it was neat. It was so I had that hour in the morning. Four or yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, actually, usually getting picked up around four. Oh so. And then except for like what, twelve hours at least. Twelve, you're so cute. Yeah. Twelve hours <laughs> is like Bless your heart. lunchtime. <laughs> Lunch after twelve hours of being. I just want to go to the back to the part where those they don't just call me cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> See how it goes. I might say it again. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, wow. That's that's a full day. I mean, when we were on set. We were there. What did you see? Um, you were shooting. Oh, it had to be one ten, I think. Okay. It was towards the end of the season. Okay. And uh, David Bradley was in. Uh, I can't remember the department. 
it's the it's the Spanish family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. that, and they were shooting like that scene, and, and that's all we got to see shooting because they kind of kept us. So did you see the, vampire action then? We some of us did. They were doing an exterior say. shot yeah. with uh, with Kevin Drummond mm -hmm. or Kevin Durant. Drummond. Durant, yeah. Kevin Durant at uh, the gas station, and I was just like, you know what, it's Toronto, it's cold, it was really cold that day. Like, oh, were well, you? Yeah. Like, way on the, uh, on the east side? Uh, on the gas yeah. station? Yeah. I was yeah. there! Well, yeah. I did this, like, it <laughs> 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 so was actually, uh, because I went to, what was I doing there? Oh, I did another show um, that didn't end up going, a pilot called Clementine, and they were, I think it was doing wardrobe, oh. right? Because I saw, I'm like, oh, they're shooting a movie, what's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a strain. Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> On to the next one. See you later. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we, I was just like, no, it's too cold. And I just, uh, I yeah, really wanted really to chat with Kevin Duran, but I'm like, you know what? He's not going to have really time to chat with us. So I was just, I was happy that day that I got to meet and chat with David Bradley. Who is yeah, awesome. awesome. I mean, he, he was... Outside the pawn shop at one point, just chatting with somebody, and I'm like, I was there by myself. The rest of the media were inside yeah. taking pictures, and I'm like, you know, I'm it? not gonna get a chance. So I just wandered over and said, I just said, Mr. Bradley, I just want to say thank you for your performance of William Hartnell in Adventure in Space and Time, because everybody else would be like, Adventure in Harry Potter, or yeah. you know, Legend <laughs> in Game of Thrones, or whatever. And, you know, Doctor Who's a big thing for me, and I just went and I was like, and he like, said thank you. And, you know, shook my hand and chatted with me for a few minutes, and then during the interview, we had a roundtable interview with him. Yeah. And the first thing he brought up when we got off of the string was Doctor Who. And, and he looked right at me when he did it. I'm like, dude, yeah. you were awesome. <laughs> and now let's talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, he's, a, he's a total darling. Yeah. He just yeah. completely wowed me, and like, I walked home so happy that day. So. Yeah. And he's so good. I just watched the episode um, where. He has the face off with Richard McAvoy's character in the jail, mm -hmm. or, you know, between the between the glass. Just the two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two pros, right? Oh, Have a sword God. fight, basically, and it's just these two close-ups yeah. of them. It's unbelievable. It's really sort of a testament to that kind of acting when you have all that. You don't need to do anything. Else. <laughs> just set the camera, photograph and them. Do yeah, it. that's right. That's well, really I mean, let's be honest. Though, like, the entire cast is. You know, the entire yeah, cast is really cool. Yeah. Um, those guys are exceptional. <laughs> so they're really, really like they're awesome. And when you see two pros like that play, you know, like play a game like that, it's just you know, I thought it was great. It's yeah. great. It's, it looks yeah. <laughs> I love it. And it, it's staying fairly and faithful to the book. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I mean yeah. at least all the scripts that I uh, went through, yes. Um, I think I think the question will be because I think the original idea was, first it was like, well, three years, because there's three yeah, years. Exactly. And then I heard, well, maybe I four, three to five. Three yeah. to five. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I'm sure there's an end game, but the question is what they may fill it with to oh, get to the end course. game. Yeah. And it'd be interesting to see, you know, if the show continues to do so well, if that five-year mark doesn't slide <laughs> <laughs> a little further down. Yeah. Because I, I don't see FX letting it go if it's... it's like, I don't know. I mean, you know, I... I personally think shows are better when they're sort of oh, totally. concentrated yeah. at the beginning yeah. and the end, but there is a whole lot of cash at oh, stake yeah. when they're hits, so you never know. Oh, and, and at least it's a big world, you can play in a little oh, bit more, as long yeah. as you don't yeah. go too far with it. Yeah. Because yeah. we, right before, no, right after you were on our show last uh, last time, you were actually getting ready to go over to England for, uh, for a little bit. I was. Yeah. My so you share a good friend, Jack Bauer. My good friend, <laughs> Jack Bauer. Um, that's right. So it would have been, I guess that was around January or something, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So I saw my boy Kiefer <laughs> and uh, saw John Kassar. And there were not. You tweeted a picture. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Right? Okay. I did the thing. I did the thing. But John went first. Yeah. And he's like Mr. Pro at it. I mean, he just like me. He was a little older than me, too. He was like, huh? Yeah, like he's just zapping <laughs> out, and he's always taking pictures. And so, yeah, like I got into his whatever you call it, his line of Twitter thing. Yeah. And I was like, geez, there's other pictures of me in here from when I worked on my revolution. Instagram, That's awesome. he does Instagram too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 kids these days. Yeah, yeah. All this technology needs it. Yeah. Don't have a lighter, <laughs> but they can. Yeah, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And then, of course, we don't expect you to be able to say tons about it, but yeah, Crimson uh, I, Peak, man. Oh. Right? I mean, look at that cast. Look at that who you get to play with in that movie. so neat. Well, um, so first off, 
It's Guillermo del Toro. Did I mention his name? Well, yeah. and, and I've heard like he's going for like it's going for an R rating, is what I've heard. Yeah. We're going for like a serious, scary R rating. I'm like, yeah. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, I'm well, I was sold when it was. And it's far. period too. It's period. But when I heard you're going for the hard R and it's a period piece horror film by del Toro. Yes, please. Yeah, and I, I don't think I, well, I might give some, what, um, I think the R rating will come not just from, let's say, visual effects, but from the relationships between our Ooh, hero, okay. heroes and heroines, let's say. Um, so, yeah, it's really beautiful, complicated, layered uh, movie that's uh, some of the most extraordinary um, production design I've ever seen in my life. I just, I couldn't believe it. They were at, uh, here at Pinewood, mm -hmm. the big stage, like Gigante, you know, like the big one where you use, like so huge. And they built a five story mansion with a basement and a working <laughs> elevator. It takes place in the uh, early, early 1900s, but it's supposed to be an old crumbling mansion in England. Okay. And the stage is so big, they built this mansion, and you could still drive a horse and carriage around it and not open the doors <laughs> of the stage. Okay? That's amazing. This is part one. Wow. Part two is. I, you know, it's just beautiful. It's from the mind of GDT, right? So you see this like incredible house that they built. It's just so beautiful. But I was very fortunate in that I was given a tour. They weren't quite done with it yet. So, you know, the guys are doing the last sort of finishing touches. But in his world, that means like there's 30 guys there, yeah. right? Doing the last <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, I was sort of walking around, and I'll never forget this. I had four, four different people say to me, unsolicited, you know, like some guy would be there like, Painting a little tiny piece of gold fleck on something, and I'd walk by, and he'd go, "Best job I ever had." <laughs> That's awesome. Back that, like, right? I'd go to somebody else, yeah. and they were like placing some intricate little thing, and walk by, and he'd go, "I'll do anything for Guillermo del Toro." <laughs> and you just keep walking. And another guy says to me, "Because I've been in the business, whatever, twenty something years, I will never ever have this opportunity again. It's the pinnacle of my career. I know it'll never get better than this." That's awesome. And these are all guys who are doing small detail work. Yeah, and all the stuff that's never going to be noticed on screen. Yeah, you'll feel it. And the yeah. guys that will never get a prize for it, or yeah. you know, oh, but they'll know. Just, yeah, it's so it, that was incredible. Uh, the cast was incredible. It's a huge, gorgeous cast. Gorgeous and gorgeous. You know, lovely people and holy cow, it's beautiful to look at. Yeah. Beautiful in terms of being photographed. And then the costumes are. Off the hook! <laughs> I'll tell you a story about that. This is, um, can I tell this? Yeah, I can tell the story. I just have to like, go through the like, sensitive, like, yeah, I can tell. So, there's such attention to detail with him and the team that he puts around him. There's mm -hmm. extraordinary costumes, I mean, and Kate Holly, who built most of the costumes from scratch. So, the extras were in vintage, period appropriate clothes and were cast to fit into some of the most beautiful costumes you've seen. Brought over from houses in Italy and Paris, which is ugly wow. for the extras, for a dancing scene, right? And there's two, three hundred extras. And you know, now it's kind of cool for guys to have those, like, well, not like yours, but like full on scruffy beards. Yes. So they're all like yeah. appropriate, period. So you step into this world, and everybody's in these gorgeous costumes that just the extras. And then on top of it, the actors have these incredibly built costumes. But at one point, and you know, all the women have lace-up boots, mm -hmm. dyed to match your outfit. Like, we're all fancy people, but this is my little posse <laughs> in the movie. And at one point, I heard somebody say, I mean, can I just take off my shoes? They're kind of uncomfortable. Who's ever going to see? And the young, um, I can tell the story, yeah, the young girl who was working in wardrobe was like, well, let me just go ask the boss, meaning the costume designer, yeah. not, not GT, but the costume designer. She goes off, and she's lovely, everyone's quite lovely. She comes back, she's like, okay, I have a message for you from the costume designer. No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of what? I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> and then, of course, you realize not only is every detail important in, a, in one of his movies, but the next thing you know, I see, I don't know, a dozen costume people on their, uh, on their hands and knees in front of extras, like buffing their shoes, because he's doing this beautiful shot from overhead, it's moving around like this, oh, wow. and everybody's oh, like shoes are gonna be seen. And it's just like, but everything, 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 the glasses, the every piece of detail, the jewelry, the, the food that's being served in the particular scene, wow. everything is just so um, specific and thought about. Every color, like every color of the costumes. I mean, I was just in hot wow. It was <laughs> unbelievably beautiful. The actors are great, but to step into that world, mm -hmm. and a world that's 
entirely his because he's not yeah. working for a network or a, I mean there's obviously a studio but it's in the film he has it's more his domain yeah you know? it was neat <laughs> <laughs> I felt really lucky to be there yeah I would be happy to be like a fly in his writing room for like five minutes and yeah. just watch how that works because I would never ever be at that level and I totally accept that. that I think yeah. he's a real genius I mean I think, yeah. I think he's He's locked into something yeah. that us mere mortals can only sort of dream of. But he's also so kind and generous and so happy to talk about what he's doing. And um, I felt like, well, since I've already been on another show with him, I could totally <laughs> casually <laughs> hang out. So I would just sort of worm my way like a stalker up to him behind the, you know, the monitors. And like a stalker. <laughs> like not, yeah, a stalker. not a stalker. No, yeah. right, because I'm being paid to be there. Right? Right. So it's, yeah. That's different, right? That's a little different. Totally different. <laughs> This but anyway, so you totally you know, watch it. Um, Drew's probably watching and tweeting about it right now. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Drew, hi Drew, hi Drew. Oh yeah, we're not, we're not. Oh yeah, but you can go tweet it as soon as it ends. Yeah, because um, it's true. Oh, so he, uh, he's just so um, like open about his process, mm -hmm. and so, and on top of which, and I might have talked about this last time because I saw him do it on the stream, like. He's cutting as he's shooting, so he sort of gathers yes. people around to see the scenes as we're going through the day. Hey, this is the scene we shot this morning. It's done. <laughs> They've already scored it. Yeah, it's already yeah. posted. Yeah. Basically, yeah. He's amazing. Amazing. And then I see, you know, not not that I'm really stalking him, but I have been looking at what he's been doing at Comic Con and reading his interviews and anything I can find on YouTube, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like talk to anybody. Yeah. He's yeah. so excited when someone's into what he's into. Yeah. So happy to share what he knows about and this huge mind of his that can, you know, keep all this information in it. Yeah. Well I remember when he showed up at Fan Expo that year. Yeah. Because we got uh, we got word from uh, from our friend Beth who was doing photography. She said, get over to the room work boat booth booth now. So I'm like, okay. She goes, so Toro is here. <laughs> <laughs> and I got there, and there had already been, there's already a line for me, but I'm like, I yeah, don't care, I will wait. Yeah, he was there, he was, he was, there. He was yeah, because he was in town he was for Pacific for, Rim. He was yeah, shooting. he's just like a rock star in this world. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And, you know, he And he's one of us, time. except he's like, totally brilliant. <laughs> but he gets passionate and nerdy about stuff, too. Yeah. And people were like, don't shake hands with him, just let him sign a thing. And like, I walked up and I'm like, <laughs> And love your work, huge yeah. influence, <laughs> and just love everything you do. He's like, oh, you know, thanks. And, just, and he know, means it. He really did. There was yeah, this yeah. total sincerity there. Yeah. And I felt in that moment, they're, you know, we totally connected as people. Like, yes. Yeah. Because you don't always get that with a lot of people. But yeah. he's right, he is in the moment with you, and he totally appreciates that. Yeah. 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 And he the is a fan, had. too, right? Yeah. He's a fan. Uh, he would have the same sort of, you know, approach to somebody that he admired. Oh, anyway, yeah. You know? yeah. 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 Which is why I think he was okay with me, you know, yeah. getting as geeked out as I did. Because I'm like, how often am I going to meet Del Toro? Like, but if you want to come on our show, <laughs> time we will talk Hitchcock till the sun comes up. All right? <laughs> we can do that. I'm trapped. I'm ready. So. I must tell you, even when I was working on Crimson Peak, so now I've actually worked with him. I'm actually, like, a part of the thing. And yeah. I, and even then, still, I was like, I just have to tell you <laughs> that I would do anything to be like around what you're doing. I think it's so cool. So like, you just need like someone to, you know, bring your coffee or something, or like bring coffee and see like an extra I can be in the background. That's cool, and maybe I can just see some of your books. <laughs> just like, I can't get over it. It's so pathetic. I can't get. I just. Think I think that's cool. awesome. It is. I love the fact for me, that you've, but... yeah, you've got that huge passion for that. I do. Yeah. I and it's it's awesome to hear that though from somebody who is actually working in the industry that you bring that passion. I just I love that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it might everybody. be directed to uh, yeah. one specific <laughs> person, but yeah. it's totally there. And, yeah, I and to hear so. that, it, and to hear that from your side of it, because you know it's obvious you know we're geeks and we, we get excited about that kind of stuff. But to hear that it happens to everybody else too. Like, yeah. yeah, totally yeah. related to that. So why not? Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, who, I'm too old to be cool, right? Like, what? like, oh, Gamma, that's a, you know, nice to me. Yeah, I'm happy to be a. I'm like, ah, I live in your box. Oh my god. <laughs> Good, I feel better about how See, I am. Most of the time, all the time. I'm yeah. always like that. Before every show, we get so excited about who we have on. I still try to play it cool most of the time. Okay. Some of the time. 
Actually, I'm going to tell the story. Work. I'm totally going to tell the story right now, which happened this evening. Uh, we were waiting for Leslie to show up. And Leslie called Sue's phone. <laughs> Sue was trying to be really casual with you on the phone, she, but she was... And I was. She, she was, was she's walking back and forth. She was I was pacing. I could, I could literally tell who she was on the phone with. <laughs> and so she had to go... We just say why I called her. I wasn't calling like, hey, we girlfriend. Just, we, just well, yeah. we were just letting you know where you were and kind of thing. But, yeah, I was just saying, I was like, I'm on were, my way. Okay. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on the TTC. But as soon as you hung up... I looked okay. at you and I'm like, did Leslie hope just call you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Not only did I call you, but just, just so you know, I put it in my contacts, Sue. So oh, I yeah. It and I typed it in. <laughs> so, like, now I could text you. Now you can call, hey, girl, you text me back, hey, girlfriend. Let's go for a drink. Yeah, let's go stop GDT. <laughs> I would totally do that. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> we might have a partner in We time. could be friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Hi, Judy. Uh, thanks for having me on your movie again. This is my friend Sue. <laughs> She's just... our friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Right. Who could geek out more? Totally. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't go for a drink together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Things could go. It would be like days. after. Yeah. yeah. It would be the come down yeah. period. <laughs> Got it all planned out. Well, I'm not like drinking this water like it's going out of style. Now, all of a sudden. I just wanted to share that because it was a really cute moment. It was just yeah. And then I texted my friend Leslie Hope totally just called me. <laughs> <laughs> She's on her way. What she say? <laughs> on her way. Yeah. That's very but it's the way she said it. Yeah. <laughs> TTC is screwed, man. Something like that. Yeah. Mm. Getting used to all that. Yeah, because we were like transit willing. Yeah. You'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. Seven Let's not even talk about that. <laughs> It took me an hour and a half to get home the other night. I'm just saying. Well, or it should summer. be like a 25 minute trip yeah. across town. I'm getting used to all that. Just, but anyway, funner stuff, funner stuff. So, Tyrant. Yeah. Yeah, Istanbul, no less. Uh, well, Tel Aviv first, which was a little hairy, and then Istanbul. So, have you guys seen any of Tyrant yet? I haven't. I, it keeps popping up on my things to watch, and I just haven't had time to settle in for it yet. And, and it's an FX show? It's an FX show. It's, it, it was. Um, the same guys who did Homeland, uh, Gideon, Israeli, and Howard Gordon, U.S., partnered again to do, in this case, it wasn't a reboot. Uh, Homeland was, was a sort of yeah, reinterpretation right. of the, the original Israeli show. This was written for, I guess, Howard and um, ultimately FX. Anyway, so the premise is, let's see if I can do this right, the premise is fictionalized Arab country, um, uh, run by a dictator guy, two sons, maybe good and bad, bad stays, good leaves as a young man to go to the States. Mm -hmm. Goes to Pasadena, gets married to a beautiful blonde woman, has two lovely kids, he's a pediatrician, she works in the hospital too. And they come back to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> they come back to a fictional country named Aberdeen, I think, for a wedding, a big family wedding. And everything goes sideways quickly. Um, I think I can say a little bit of it, which is to say all of, what starts to happen is the rest, there's a wrestle for power between the two brothers. They described it to me as Godfather of the Middle East. It's a little bit like that. There's a wrestle between like who's going to take Americanized brothers, like no way, I don't want any part of it, but he slowly sort of inexorably gets drawn into what he can do to, for his family, the one he's made and the one he comes from. What, where, which, which country is his, the one he's yeah. moved yeah. to or the one he's from, where does he belong, and does he save this country, mm -hmm. save this country, because he's been Americanized enough to think that you can just bring democracy, yeah. add water, and stir, and all of a sudden, yeah. presto, everything's <laughs> vote, everybody's voting, no problem. So it's really, it's really wow. well crafted, and the cast is super interesting, just to say, probably not a lot of faces you might know. Um, Largely uh, Israeli um, cast, Israeli Arab cast, Israeli Jewish cast, British Arab. Um, the only American Jennifer Finnegan is Canadian. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome, <laughs> right? Um, there's an Aussie girl actually. She's in it too, and uh, she's and um, another guy from a uh, Persian kid who actually was raised in Mississippi, but. Um, Anyway, it's a super cool show, that brilliant. and um, they also sort of follows an idea of an Arab Spring that's happening. So, mm -hmm. cut to great show, great premise, super cool, really interesting actors, topical, complicated yeah. drama, great shooting in Tel Aviv. 
Uh, shooting in Tel Aviv when, well, let's call it, the war starts. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, we're shooting these scenes with huge, you know, Arabic dictator style banners in the middle of Tel Aviv oh with a lot of Israeli extras playing protesting Arabs. It's just a, yeah. it's just a big mess, right? <laughs> And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of different um, uh, feelings about it within the cast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, nobody quite knows what to do. We just keep shooting, right? Yeah. yeah. Things get worse, things get worse, things get worse. And Fox, FX in LA, is trying to determine what's the best thing to do. So eventually they say, we got to get everybody out. We can't anymore say everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So they send us to Istanbul. Great for me. Terrific. I love Istanbul. I love Turkey. I've been there before. I think it's a great city. But there's a lot going on in Turkey at the moment with massive anti-Israeli protests happening in Istanbul. One of which I got caught up in the middle of. I was like, does that sound? Oh my god. It's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. Like, wow. And at first, I, my first thought literally was, are they shooting? Because I've, I've only seen Where's it in the, the movies. Yeah. Yeah. And it's this sea of people. Either that or you're suddenly in a cartoon. Exactly. But you just can't believe it. Yeah. Um, so we're in the middle of all that. And uh, you know, they think they just finished yesterday. And as far as I know, thankfully everybody's fine. But it was tense and um, complicated. And I feel felt grateful to have been there, which is to say to see it, to witness yeah. it, and not just see it, you know, on my yeah. phone, on my Twitter <laughs> <laughs> yes, on my Twitter. Here, here's the thing I learned though, is actors probably shouldn't tweet a lot about that stuff. You know what I yeah, mean? Like yeah. I observed to made a deliberate yeah. sort of, I'm not doing any of that, that's not what I'm here, but uh, I was um, lucky to not only be a part of the show and see what was going on sort of a little bit on the ground, but because it didn't work that much, I got out and about, so I was in the Palestinian refugee camp, and I was wow. in the Palestinian villages, and I was Evil will just get a little more sense of what's happening mm -hmm. on the ground. Um, a little bit, like a little sort of, yeah. not an authority on it. Which yeah, is why I would tweet about it. from what the media shows. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's Big sort time. of to my point. Yeah. Because what started to happen when I was there is I would, you know, the rockets are coming over the Hilton, right? So like, here comes a, here comes a rocket, the sirens go, we like go into the bomb shelter stairwell thing, and everybody's doing their thing, and you realize, oh, they're tweeting about what's happening right now. Right, and you go out, and there's the, you know, the debris and all that stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, we're just a bunch of actors, right? You know, we're at the Hilton. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but the other thing was to see the, the, the coverage that was happening here. I was reading Al Jazeera there, reading Haaretz and Jerusalem Post. Like just, and then to be in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that picture was taken right oh, there. Wow. Wild, just yeah, wild. Um, so I, again, I felt pretty lucky that I was able to. Be there when, and you know, walk away safely. Mm -hmm. and, um, so that it's a crazy, crazy time over there right now. And they're shooting a TV show. <laughs> There's another show shooting there that said, you know what, we're going to New Mexico. <laughs> um, our show went. We are to Istanbul. All the continent. Yeah, yeah, all together. Istanbul. Well, hang on a second. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I uh, don't know what they'll do next year. Or how it's going to go. Wow. But it was a. It's really interesting show. I was happy to be part of it. Huh. Yeah. Well, there's sorry. You know what I said? There, there's one American in it. You guys are probably know Justin Kirk. Who's from um, Weeks? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's great. Great actor. I mean, they're all great, but um, I, there's only the two uh, Americans. Was it right? Canadian. Canadian. I like that though on a TV show, especially with, for something like a drama like that, where I can go in and I don't necessarily know yeah. actors, so that way I can just say, you're yeah. this person in this role. I'm good with that. I can buy into it yeah. that much quicker. Yeah. So, yeah. I kind of like that. Though. I do too, and yeah, I think it's freeing somewhat, you know, as an actor too, if you've been identified really strongly with whatever the part is, that you don't carry that baggage with you, oh, you know, sure. working so hard to unwind that perception. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just always naturally like this, so I won't be staring yeah. at this. <laughs> yeah, I've the thing. Yeah. Yes, I have. <laughs> and then you were talking about, like, uh, this, this other project you're developing. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know if I can talk about it I'm like a smart person, but I'll try, because I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Do you know what show you're on? <laughs> yes. So, 
uh, when we were working on the strain, uh, Guillermo had assigned a, a movement teacher for mm -hmm. us vampires because they were all to move in a certain way. And as with everything on his shows, everything is particular and designed, and there are rules that must be followed. <laughs> so I must tell you that I was like, when we like a vampire dance teacher, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite cranky going into it. I was actually with Drew. It was like, oh, this is going to be dumb. Like, I don't really have to do like something like this. Or something. Like, I could just, just could, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> And I waste the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I'm just thinking it's a bad idea. I mean, that's not really my thing, and you know, I can say some words and stuff, but don't make me dance, right? Now. Really. <laughs> anyway, so I'm a cranky pants. Turns out that it's quite the opposite experience. We have this extraordinary teacher, um, Roberto Campanella, who is here with a company called Pro Art Dance in here in Toronto. And has worked with GET before, and also worked on. You guys will know um, Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Okay, you know that show? Oh, yeah. I don't know it, but yeah. he did all the movement for that. And he played Central. one of the okay. creatures, a pyramid head or something. Okay, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Uh, but did a lot of the choreography or dance movement okay. in that yeah, show. Okay, there's a lot of a ton, right? really yeah. Yeah, cool yeah. movement. It's very disturbing. Like a lot of <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. basically yeah. it. Yeah. Just watching the movement yeah. is. Okay, so that's him. Okay, right. okay so then they, so he does <laughs> teaches yeah. our yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, teaches us vampire stuff and. <laughs> And it turns into meaning whenever we have to do vampire stuff, he's there like a the other instructor to say, "Oh, do this, not this." Mm -hmm. Anyway, so in full vampire gear, which I forget that I have, we start talking theater. I mean, serious, <laughs> forgetting what I look like, you know, that I've got like this head and these veins and these freaky eyes and stuff, and I'll always like him for just taking the conversation seriously. Like, you know that thing, like, just don't look down. Like, if someone's got big boobs hanging, it's like, don't, just look at her eyes, look at her eyes. It's a version of that. Like, just look at her eyes, look at her eyes, look at her eyes. We're all bloodshot, right? Anyway. Don't so, look at her eyes. Don't look at her eyes. Where do I look? Where do I look? The teeth horrible. The ears horrible. Anyway. Um, so, we, he started talking about that one of the things they're trying to do with this company, uh, this company here, is integrate um, acting values or theater values that are more sort of grounded emotionally. He said, all oh, their dancers can do these amazing things with their bodies and they put their ankle back around their <laughs> neck or whatever, but trying to, to, to connect it in a different way so it's okay. not just dance, right? So they're, they're in the process of experimenting with this and they did a project that's uh, this couple of months ago trying stuff out with some um, uh, actor directors from Soul Pepper. And I think that uh, Roberto sits as a, as a resident or artistic associate of Soul Pepper, which of course is another great theater company here in Toronto. Anyway, so he's talking about it and he says, you know, I'm just really sort of interested in this project about Fellini. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're a vampire head, right? I'm like, what? Because, what? Goes, well, I had this, they did a project and they, they did, there's some text that they had put together and a performance that they had done, I think, last year, but I'm going to rework it and look at well, it's just like, my vampire head exploded, I'm so excited, <laughs> it's like, oh, put me in, put me in, I want to try, I want to try. So I guess what we're doing is co or re reimagining this piece that they had already done, which is to say co-creating this new look at um, Fellini through his own, we call it through his own lies, because he was a you know incorrigible liar and mm -hmm. he said that all the time. He said, you know, I might be a liar, but at least I'm an honest one. <laughs> so he spun these amazing stories. So the text is all stuff he said, um, or people said about him. And um, the dance pieces are all to you know, to music, beautiful. Uh, and it's really sort of like a, it's not just a love letter to Fellini. Like you could you could totally go see this and not even have ever seen a frame of his film. Okay. But really, just trying to find um, a tribute to this extraordinary artist through Roberto's and my sort of reinterpretation of it, using his text and using high high theater. Um, which is to say, it's not like a biopic. Where he said, <laughs> Robert, uh, yeah, Federico Fellini was born on this and that a day. No, no, no. These are his movies. No, it's just this kind of explosive circus wow. dance piece. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm having a gas doing it, and we're trying it at the the Global Festival of, um, at Soul Pepper Space at the end of October. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, yeah. That's right before the Guinness World Record. Didn't it? Oh, can we talk oh. about that? <laughs> yeah, please talk about that, because I would like to know about that. <laughs> would you? Could you? Oh, go uh, ahead. <laughs> yes. Would you like to talk about this? Well, <laughs> Tim and I have been approved by Guinness to make an official tent 
at the longest uninterrupted live webcast, which currently sits at 36 hours and 23 seconds, is it? So we're going to... That go 23 on seconds that. is going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, we have got that. Um, and we're not really talking about how long we're going, no. but we're going to go we're gonna it. That I will guarantee. So... And we're going to invite Leslie, and we're going to invite everybody we yeah, know. Yeah, I'm happy to come back. Don't you guys like, won't be so sick of it? Like, when people are going to be like, what the hell? Like, no, what no, we'll get you at like 4 like, in the morning, because yeah. okay. you're going to get it I'll get you. I'll get you. We'll say, bring your phone and put GDT on speed dial. There you go. Hi. Hi. Just say, <laughs> just say hello. Just, just There's like five minutes of dead air. Oh, touch. We'll prank call GDT all night. Yeah. Um, so, but tell me more. So, you're gonna have what's the is it, besides the fact that mm -hmm. it's the longest uninterrupted webcast? I think uh, I think our plan is well, obviously to to go for it. But there, we've kind of emailed a ton of our guests that we've had on over the past three years at this mm -hmm. point, and we've heard back from at least fifty to seventy-five percent of them so far. And everybody apparently has enjoyed their time on our show so much that they said, if I'm in town. Count me in for this. That's great. Yeah. And we're, we're looking into like doing phone interviews as well, so we can expand it. So even if you're not in town, we're going to be able to call you and you know, give yeah. you like five minutes yeah. on air or whatever. And because it's live and global, yeah. we'll be able to have interactive connections with the audience yeah. too, with the viewers. Oh, cool. They, they can tweet at us like, or whatever and, like, oh, and ask me questions. <laughs> yeah. uh, how she gets her hair so curly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just comes out right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and the, the idea is that. Guests will just be cycling through all yeah. of the. Yeah. So you need a party planner out sleeping. there in the hallway to keep people like occupied. This one's late, this one's early, get this one yeah. coffee. Yeah, okay. okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna we can get Kersley to come in and do like a stand up. <laughs> you know, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. 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 And are people good. like going to do long short? I mean, just as long as. It'll be what? dependent upon the person, I think. Yeah. Like, some of them will go longer. Some we probably won't have talked to before and we'll yeah. want to. Yeah. And it'll be the time of day, too. So right. Some of it will be. Like that 3 30 a.m. one. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to sit through a flashlight. I am not going shorts. 45 minutes. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get Del Toro's book and we'll read it by flashlight. We'll just turn off all the other lights. Yeah, we'll... that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want, I want to see the part where you guys get the giggles when you're just so. Yeah, that's the time it takes. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it! Yeah, it's, it's exactly what it'll be. Or it'll be at that moment where we actually break the record. Yeah. We will actually probably lose our collective shit. Yeah. Cry from exhaustion. Yeah. 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 And, and then go longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still going. And then see how far we can yeah. go. And do you have a, sort of an overriding theme to your guests? Or is it like. No. No. I mean, we, like, we. Come on in. Yeah, we were throwing out ideas today that we kind of like to do them possibly in groups. Like, we've. we've Interviewed like at this point, I think we've chatted with everybody on Orphan Black. Yeah. And if we can kind of get them in, come in like, at, if not in a group, but like one after the other, other uh, and, like yeah. same with the pairs or whatever, you know, the strain, mm -hmm. and you know, the continuum, like Lost Girl, Bomb Girls, yeah. everybody we've kind of chatted to, we can kind of work. Well, we also like we had Georgina Riley and her husband Michael okay. Bryan in, yeah, and yeah. we had Anna Silk and her husband Seth Cooper yeah. in, and so and it was just fun to have them as a couple yeah. because yeah. people don't get to see them like that, yeah. so. Yeah. It just it sort of made it a little bit different, but that was so much fun. Yeah. But yeah, it's just it's just let's do this thing. One to see if we can do it. Two, I think it'll help. Not that we don't have good numbers now, because we do have good numbers, but I think this will just kind of push us a little further. Yeah. And kind of give us a little more recognition. Yeah. We're, and we're, we're focusing mostly on Canadian talent yes. too, and local talent. So. Yeah. Now what about what time would you start? Like okay, let's say you're gonna do. Let's say I want to start at seven p.m. on a Friday night. Okay. And then um. Right. Go through the first night. <laughs> Best I can. <laughs> I want a pillow. <laughs> totally. I'm bringing one. Because um, if we start at 7, uh, the plan is we'll sleep all day and then start as fresh as we can. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, we can fit several guests in before it starts getting really late yeah. and people start getting punchy. Mm -hmm. Um, we won't though because we'll be on adrenaline for at oh, least God. Right? <laughs> it's gonna be wacky. the first while. But then, like, then we have like a full day. Uh, we'll break the record at seven a.m. ish yeah. at twenty three seconds on Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's gonna be awesome is like that early Saturday morning. Those interviews. Yeah. When your eyes go like this. Yeah. Right? Exactly. They're and then like, when we break the record, like that'll give us that boost we need to keep going. Yeah. And then we have like a day in front of us yeah. that we can play with to have. 
More and what's coming? And split. those guests will come in and just see us completely loopy because yeah. we'll have already been like oh. like 30, 40 hours <laughs> without sleep. And what's the, the what's the this is the twenty four question? When do you go to the bathroom and when do you eat? Ah. Yeah, well, we'll be eating probably on air, especially yeah. if we can get sponsors, and I'll be happy to like tell people what we're eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I plan to just graze most of the time. Mm -hmm. We're we'll bringing like nuts and cheese and <laughs> stuff like protein things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah uh, and we're, we're allowed to have breaks, yeah. so we'll have like yeah. little breaks to go change t-shirts into a new nerdy t-shirt. Uh, I want to like parade as many as I can. Yeah, we'll like, oh, like, oh, <laughs> Don't want to be I was like, we do it every four hours, it'll be awesome. Yes. And we get through like yeah. an X number of shirts. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Right? It'd be kind of funny. Every time we come back on, we'll do something else. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and, and we have like the other Smithy hosts that we want to yeah, give like for sure. a very time to do. <laughs> so we off. like dash to the bathroom yeah. and do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in the shower. <laughs> Oh my god, cold! But it's gonna be brilliant. That's yeah, cool. Really and when exactly are you doing this? Uh -huh. The plan is we're still awaiting confirmation, but we want to do it on November seventh, eighth, ninth. Oh. So it's like right after. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. It's right before we, everything right gets wacky Halloween, for right after, right right before Christmas. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little. Yeah, it's and like the, the Santa Claus Parade in Toronto is the, Toronto the following yeah. weekend, so we don't want to compete with Santa. Right. No, nobody does. Nobody <laughs> no. should. Unless Santa comes on. <gasps> Santa should come on! He can Santa come on like come on. the week before and be part of this whole thing and talk about, and talk about the parade the actually, that's, week. That's, that's, that's a really good idea. idea. I am on this. I am so on top of this. Santa is coming to your show. That's so cool. I am going to look into that tomorrow. Santa! <laughs> um, and then American Thanksgiving is like the towards the end of November oh, yeah, as yeah. well, I think, too. And we don't want to compete with football, so. No, yeah. no we don't want to do any of that. Yeah. So, yeah. That's... I think the seventh is it. Very we good. Got, we've got press releases written up, kind of ready to go. We're just waiting on, uh, on a couple of things to kind of fall into place so we can just take off with it. We're literally just waiting for like just a couple items, really, yeah. before we can just say, boom, this is happening. Good for you. Yeah, it's Let's just cool. make it bigger and bigger. <laughs> As it can. It's going to be so much fun. We'll have board games. Yeah. Trivia Pursuit. I love the thing, too, because some people come in with stuff specifically that they want to promote, yeah, exactly. and that's amazing, and some people just want to come, come in and like, be silly. Like, check yeah. 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 <laughs> they just want to come right. in and check in on us, basically, for the yeah. most part. Like, uh, Anthony Lemke has said he'll come in and talk for six hours about go back Go back to Not six hours. <laughs> back to like, You know what to do. We have to stay awake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got people who have been on the show who want to come in and do part of the show, but they just want to see how we do yeah. towards the end I of it. I think I'd like to block a, like a 4 a.m. slot. Yeah. I really Like, would. that's what we need yeah. is the, the people yeah. that are like, yeah. Yeah. Scary just come in and mess with you guys. <laughs> yes. Do it. <laughs> exactly. Who's Timber watching me? your tenant home now? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I didn't know you were going to wear your vampire makeup. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> stoned on like the ancient marijuana from 20 years ago before the kids were born. And I think the bird is bird. <laughs> <laughs> Did but you yeah, see that one? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. I, honestly, Roseanne was never my thing. Oh my god. It just wasn't. I was... Yeah, funny episode. I was about, well, I didn't do a lot of comedy growing up. Except for Family Ties. Yeah. And then, but I did watch a show that has an actor that you did work with in 2005. Wow. Go for it. Oh, I like when you do this and you pull these sort of obscure things out. Go for it. He did a Jesse Stone with Mr. Tom Selleck. Yes. And he was on Family Ties? No, but I was... <laughs> yeah, family, was family Ties was as comedic as I got. My okay. shows were like Magnum. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Which I'm currently rewatching at home. So <coughs> You're rewatching. I'm rewatching them for the blog right now. I'm doing that. I grew up <laughs> watching all this Belisario and, and Steve yeah. Channel stuff. Oh, that, what did I say last time? You were just yeah. starting. Yeah. So I'm on season three of Rockford Files right now. I'm mm -hmm. loving it. It's still so good. Yeah. And I just started season one of Magnum. And I'm like, oh, it's still so awesome. It, right from the get go, it's it's everything is there, uh -huh. except for the theme music. Yeah. Which comes in at episode 12, and I just, I can't wait to get there. Because <laughs> I love that theme music. But it's all there. I mean, you can go back to any episode, and all the scenes that are there in the later episodes are still there. And you don't get that in a lot of television. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's just, it's so much fun. But yeah, you, I was going to totally bring it up that you did a Jesse Stone movie. I did do a Jesse Stone. I watched and them all back to He was lovely. Yeah. He was awesome. You know what he did that was so great? Is my mom was a big fan of his. And we shot that in Halifax. I think they okay. shot most of them in Halifax. And my whole career, my mother has been desperate for something to shoot in Halifax so <laughs> she can go to a set that her daughter is on, right? Yeah. So anyway, so cut to, this is happening. And she's so excited. She's actually shooting very close to where they live. She's really excited. And I'm a, a guest on this show. I don't know Tom yeah. that well yet. It's not certainly not my show. Um, but he's so lovely and kind and generous. And stuff. Like, would it be all right if my mom and dad came and they're in the corner? And I'm <laughs> <home. laughs> just like trying to hold back. Sure, no problem. He's, he's so lovely. So what happens is what you never want to happen when your parents visit oh, yeah. you. <laughs> is, you know, they're coming in, they're coming in, my father is a, a little deaf, and my mom can't see in the dark, right? So they come up the steps, and they can't really see what they're doing, you know, where this is going, right? They can't really see what, and they can't really hear, and we're rolling, oh, and they bump into something and make a big loud noise, and, you know, it's like, Frank, are you there? You know, so, <laughs> that was part one. Okay, that's, okay. <clears throat> All right. And then part two is, of course, my mother's just sort of holding the camera like this, like, sort of, like, she just, she's desperate to take a picture, but she knows, like, you can't really just, but she's just sort of, like, holding, like, it's just, you know, this whole thing, like, like this camera. <laughs> Here's how great he is. So I introduce them, and my mother's literally vibrating. Like, <laughs> we're talking about all meeting, you know, somebody you really uh, are a big yeah. fan of. He's so kind and gracious. And he, he says, like, it's a new idea. He's like, should we take a picture? <laughs> like, how good. Should. It was so good. My mother's like, oh, I just, you know. Like, <laughs> and he was just so cool and smooth about it. Like, I just have a crazy idea. Yeah. Like, we should take a picture. Well, and, and then picture. Sure my mother's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just so excited. Um, but he couldn't have been kinder or more gracious. So awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really, oh, really man. cool. Should we take a picture? That's right. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah. <laughs> Just go. Really did you guys feel for that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was like you set it up like that, which was so cool. And then he actually even, you know, sort of to triple how great he was, he was like so uh, interested in them, and then did said nice things about their daughter to yeah. me, you know, oh, which always made yeah. you hear from a parent. That's what you want to hear too. Went out of his way to be nice. Super cool. That's cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. So he can stay your hero. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's Tom Selleck. It's Tom Selleck. Yeah. I'm just saying. But, more importantly, we had Leslie Holmes night. Yeah. And even though we weren't in it, we did love 24 Living on a Day. It's true. They came back yeah. guns blazing yeah. and that uh, did not let up. I was very, very proud. <laughs> I hear Fox is already pushing for another season. I hope really? so. Really? Yeah. I they heard, can't leave Jack with the yeah. Russians? I heard that as soon as, <laughs> as soon as they got the, the ratings for like the first half of the season, I heard Fox was already like, Whoever's running Fox right now is thinking we want more. So. And are they saying they're going to do it? Do you hear about any gossip about that? That I haven't heard any, but I mean, why wouldn't you at this point? Yeah. yeah. Tweet your comments. Or just. John. Hey, John. Hey, what's up? Yeah, well, I could always tell when John directed an episode. I'm calling John. Yeah, I am. Because anytime you saw his name on the credits, I knew a lot of shit would blow up that week. Yeah, uh huh. Every yeah. time. <laughs> it's true. But I just, I love the fact that you came back. I, I love to yeah. be invited back, yes. and well, I, I think it's super cool it came to the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I did tweet at you first. You did, you did. You're like, hey, you want to come back? I was like, I will tweet to somebody. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> D, like it. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's what I did, right? Which, yeah. Yeah, which we love having you back because, I mean, you know, yes, there was 24, but like we said last time, there was the river. You've done so much that we have seen. Yeah. It's just, it's and just I knew you had like awesome three things idea. that we needed yeah. to talk about at least. I didn't even know about the, the theater thing. You were right, which is awesome. So please keep us in the loop on that. I will. Because I just watched like my first two Fellini movies that were ever. Nice. So, yeah. La Dolce Vita. Was, yeah. It's just mind That The whole <laughs> scene in the, in the, what do they call it? The fountain. The fountain. Oh. We're trying a little something with like that. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm bossing people around. Virgil's <laughs> <laughs> bossing people around, but yeah, it's extraordinary. It was, I was like, that scene amazing. just made the movie. Yeah. I was just like, this is fantastic. So, yeah. I'm very, I was so happy to be with you. Thank you. Thanks and I love, I love all the stuff you've done on the stream. Can't wait to see Crimson Peak. Me too. Anything else you can do with GDT, you keep, you keep in there. <laughs>
Thank you. I'm not trying. It's not especially she's your boyfriend. You know. <laughs> <laughs> especially if he keeps coming back to Toronto. Yes. Yeah. Which he apparently, needs to move here. Yeah. yeah, he loves it here apparently. Yeah. So GDT, I'm just saying. We, we know film. You know film. You can talk. Yeah. I'm just saying. And we have 48 hours to fill. <laughs> right? You can bring your sketchbook. <gasps> For wacky now, we're going to be wacky yeah, yeah, okay. by hour 24 easily. But Leslie, thank you so much. Thank you. It's Thanks such a joy me. to see you again. Thank you. Oh, so Thanks. much fun. Sue, Agreed. you're yeah. giddy now. Yeah. <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> yes, she's fine. I've got your number too. That's what I'm saying. Call me up. We're friends now. I can't believe it took her that long to click yeah, in on that. that. <laughs> Lindsay probably just had to turn my mic right down. <laughs> exploded. Or Lindsay's vampire had just exploded. <laughs> but Lindsay Lewis, behind the scenes there, we're Thank doing you, that. Lindsay. Thank you as always, sir. You're the man. No webcam though. Or taste in films, so. that's alright. Oh, there we go. We're going to have a debate, actually, during our, yeah, our thing. That's totally right. It's yeah. Deeply Sea versus Jaws. For it's obviously Jaws is the winner. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's when I'll go on my break. Uh, well, Lindsay, thank you as always, sir. Sue? Tim? Awesome show. Thank you. I'm, I'm, thank you for having I'm me. I'm giddy. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go home and... We I'm, started it off giddy, yeah, too, and it just, just like, went yeah. from there. Oh. But anyway, thank you for watching at home. And make sure you follow Leslie on at Leslie Hope, which is your Twitter. Oh, it is. Is that how it works? It is. Okay. <laughs> And she's tweeting now. So, oh, that's right. Awesome. Yeah. And of course, we're at Mind Reels or at Mary J29SM. Stay tuned, of course, for more news on our Guinness World Record attempt. We do have a Facebook event page, so uh, if you find it, like it, sign up for it, say you're coming. Uh, if you're a friend... Because you can come to that's it. That's right. Online as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. And then. <laughs> I have no other way to wrap that up. <laughs>